All right, everyone, in this video, we are simply breaking down ChatGPT mobile version. I'm excited to show you guys the powerful tool that is on our phones. I'm gonna show you from logging in, installing to literally just every feature. It's gonna be a basic level video. I'm gonna show you a couple examples as well. And let's dive into it. So obviously first step, let's go install the app. We're gonna to go to the app store, open that up, simply type in GPT, it'll show up. There's a real quick y'all. There's actually a lot of fake ones. Make sure you're doing the official one by open AI. It just says open AI. You're seeing it on screen right now, but um, yeah, guys, it's super important. You get the right one. There's a lot of people that are like making false GPTs and stuff. So don't be using that. So I already have it installed. You're going to install it. I'm just going to hit open, but that's where you would get it. I just want to show you guys so you don't get the wrong one. All right, now that GPT is opened, the only difference between mine and maybe yours is at the top, you're gonna see 4.0 on mine. That's because I pay for the you know premium version and I definitely recommend it. But if you don't have premium, you can still use it. It just might be on uh, older models such as like GPT-3 or something like that. So when we're looking at the main screen, if you've used GPT on the desktop version, it's gonna be extremely similar. At the bottom here, we have messages where we can actually type in things to GPT. So for instance, I could say, what is the weather? There you go, there's the answer. Because this is 4.0, these little blue things at the end that you're noticing, those are gonna be links to where they actually pulled the information from. Usually GPT uh, in the history hasn't done that. So I love that it actually pulls in, you know, resources and where it grabbed it from so you can dive into detail and kind of see where it's coming from so for instance you can hit open link and then it's going to pull where it pulled that information from super cool super super cool or you can just copy the link if you want to do something with that as well so let's break down a couple of the features right now on what's on this main screen if you hold that text you can either hit copy you can select specific text maybe you don't want it all maybe you just want like a specific part of it that's how you would do that. Holding it down again. So these are where you actually get the features. Normally on the desktop app, it's like right below the chat. On the mobile version, you have to hold it to select all the different ones. So you can hit regenerate. Maybe you don't like that answer and you want it to be phrased a little differently or something like that. Just hit regenerate and it'll redo the search. It'll change it up a little bit. So highlighting the can. We can say, hey, maybe this is a bad response. You're like, I really don't like how you answer that actually. Let GPT know, highlight it, hit select bad. It's gonna know, hey, these are the type of responses he doesn't like. So over time, GPT gets more and more used to your style. So it gets better and better over time. It's so powerful. Highlighting it again, we can do, this is part of the new GPT update with 4.0 is you can actually just have it read it to you. So it has text to speech and it's really cool. So sometimes I'll do like, summarize a pdf and it'll create the summary and then i'll have it read it aloud to me so for just a quick example we'll have it read the weather take a Today, second Austin, the weather is expected to be hot with temperatures reaching up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. the day will start with overcast skies transitioning to mostly sunny conditions in the afternoon there is a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon all right good to know i'll bring a jacket later today but that features just so far i love I, I'm, I'm adhd i like to hear things i listen to audiobooks i don't really read much so i love the idea of getting all these different notes and then just having it read it to me while i'm making something or doing something else super powerful highlighting it again at the bottom you can also choose what model you want it to write with so maybe hey you know gpt 40 didn't do it for you you want to switch it up you could say i want gpt 4 or 3.5 the older version to do it but um yeah and i'll just rewrite it based on the older llms i would just assume you should always be sticking to the newest one. But hey, if you want to change it up, there's that. All right, so moving down, we got a couple things. So obviously you can type in the chat right here, but this little microphone to the right, the not the farthest one, the microphone, not the headphone, you can click that and talk. So hey, GPT, I also want you to find out the weather for San Francisco. Hit play, it'll automatically transcribe that. It leaves it in the checkbox when you use this one. So then you can make any edits or whatnot. Then you can send it and it'll answer that as well. All right, moving over to the right of that, you're gonna see the headphones. This is my new favorite feature with the 4.0 update and they have it on all the different uh, platforms. But what this allows you to do is 
talk to it interactively. You can go back and forth with the LLM. So you can talk about a chat that's already started. So like for instance, this chat's already started, but I can still talk to it and go back and forth or you could do something new. For instance, Hey GPT, how are you today? I was wondering if you can tell me the weather for Austin, Texas. Hey Matthew, I'm doing well. Thanks. The weather in Austin today is mostly sunny with temperatures expected to reach up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thanks for that weather update. How does that compare to last year during this time? Last year, on May 26, 2023, Austin experienced temperatures ranging from 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Awesome. That was just a quick example on how you can go back and forth with it. It's super powerful. All right, so now let's open a new chat and I wanna show you guys how you can add different files. So GPT can use it, you can ask questions, it can summarize, it can do data analysis, it can understand what's in a photo. That's gonna be here. So I opened a new chat and at the bottom left here, next to the chat, there's three different things. So you can add a photo that you take, which is on that left. You can add a photo you already have or you can choose a file. Let's start with file. So. I'm choosing a new contract that I just had as a PDF between me and a company for a film gig. So now that I have the PDF uploaded into GPT, I just hit stop. It'll usually start trying to answer things just based on what it thinks you want, but hey, stop it. And then I'm gonna go to the thing because I wanna actually talk to it. So click on the headphones. Hey chat GBT, I just gave you a PDF. It's of a contract for a job I have coming up. Can you help me understand what's in the contract? Sure, Matthew. Here's a summary of your contract. Parties involved. Espo Productions, service provider. Q Branch, client. Event dates, Tuesday, May 28, 2024, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, thank you. How about now you actually just tell me what I have to do on Tuesday? What is my schedule looking like based on the contract? Based on the contract, your schedule for Tuesday, May 28, 2024, is as follows. Event D, time, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tasks, shoot video and stills during the event. Edit the footage to... Great. So that was just a quick example on how you can start to talk between it. There's a multiple different ways to talk between the PDF. So like I said, you can text, you can just ask questions manually, or you can talk to it interactively now. That's... So cool. I just, God, I love that. So now that I've exited the chat, if you scroll up, you're going to see everything that we just discussed between me and GPT. So it's all in written form. So even though I cut it off early, it still has its full response here. So it has a breakdown of when the event is, when I'm going to be filming, what is required of me, all from that PDF. It's a very, very, very powerful tool. So let's go into another example. So if I go over here and I hit take a photo, allow it to have access to your photos. And what I'm going to do is I got this plant and I don't know what it is. I'm going to take a picture of that plant. I'm going to say next. And I'm going to say, what plant is this? DPT is going to be able to analyze that photo that I just gave it and took with my phone. And like I said, you can choose from other photos that you already had as well. And then it's going to tell you. So this is a pothos and it nailed it. So just from that simple photo, it was nothing crazy. I even got like a surfboard in there and it's all over the place. It's able to pick it up. There's many use cases for this. We're going to dive into so many more examples, but like recently I actually just took a picture of like a really complicated parking sign downtown Austin, where I was like, I did not know if I could park there or not. So I took a photo of it and said, Hey, it's, you know, Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Can I actually park here? And it goes, yes, yes, you can. If it was Wednesday, no, you couldn't. But because today's Tuesday, there's no cleaners. Here you go. Some really cool use cases with that. So let's move on to some of the last features on the mobile app and just in GPT in general. So you may have been wondering, can I use my GPTs and all that kind of stuff? Absolutely. So if you click on the top left, there's those buttons. You're going to see first all your GPTs. The first one is just classic chat GPT. So maybe you're already working on one of them and you want to go back. You can just click on the normal chat GPT, but then you can also click on all the different customized ones that you got. So for instance, maybe I want to use my workout one. I can talk to Goggins, open that and say like, what 
is my workout. And these are all custom GPTs that I have. We have links to them in our school if you want them. And I'm going to be adding a bunch of free ones as well. I'm not going to dive too much into GPTs and how they work, but it's a customized LLM pretty much that's tailored to what you want it to be tailored to. So for instance, this one's all about working out, building schedules based on my inputs. And uh, I made them sound like David Gongittens, which is kind of fun. I'll have more videos going into this soon. Promise, promise. And then also, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to be able to explore all the GPTs. So this will take you to the store. So maybe, you know, you don't want to build your own GPT and you have a use case in mind. Just try searching in the store. There's probably one person that's made it already and you could just start to use theirs to make it all quicker. I like to make my own because everything I do is tailored to what I wanted to do. Um, but there are some really good ones out there. Going back, this is where you're also just going to see the rest of your history. So these are all the different threads I've had. What's really cool is it syncs between your phone, the mobile browser version, and then even the desktop version. So your same threads will be everywhere. So oftentimes I'm, you know, making notes, doing different things on my computer where I have all my monitors and I can copy and paste really easily. But then sometimes, you know, I'm on the go. So I can use GPT on the go, but then I have access to everything I've already done. So I'm pulling up notes or adding on to other notes. Um, you can do that all on the go, which is super cool. And I can bring up any of these. And then at the bottom, that's where you're going to see your face and you have all the different settings that you want to use here that has access to your email, subscriptions, all that kind of good stuff. And you can change languages, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to dive too much in the settings. They're pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah. With that being said, y'all, this mobile version is getting so good. It really does have all the abilities of the desktop app. So anything you've ever been able to do on the desktop is now available on the mobile. Having this in your pocket, being able to travel anywhere is so important, so valuable. I absolutely love the mobile version. It works well, it's seamless. It's only getting better and better. I absolutely recommend you all doing it. All right, with that being said, that's pretty much the rundown on the UI for the mobile version. So I showed you all the different features, how to use it. If you've been using ChatGPT before, you're already very familiar. It's just done on the mobile. It's so good. Now you have the power of GPT everywhere you go. Use it. Get used to it, enjoy it, love it. So if you want access to our school, link in the description, that's where we have our GPTs and our prompts and much more education, love to see you there. If not, just subscribe. We got a bunch more information coming to our YouTube channel as well. So, hey, that's awesome. That being said, have an amazing rest of your day. If you wanna know anything else, leave a comment. Peace.